Today's video, I'm going to take you along. Hey, you know what? You're always in good company if you surround yourself with wise people. And so many wise people like you guys have told me, Hey, Mitch, if you're going to make this move cross country, you should get rid of as much stuff as you can. And I've been hearing that left and right. And you would just be a fool not to listen to that advice. And so my family and I, we've been just going through everything in the house, figuring out, hey, do we want this? You know, and we know from that video that I've done before, your space is limited on this UPAC that we're planning on taking to Tennessee from California. And so this video is a really cool video of just showing you some of the things that we've done to get rid of the stuff that we've had. Um, I'll be honest, it's really cool to just sit back and go, that's one less thing we're gonna have to take and it's so good to get the cash for whatever that item was. So it's a win-win and hopefully in the end, we can now figure ourselves fitting everything into that U-Pack that we really, really want and ditching everything that we don't want. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through getting rid of clothes to big, large items like furniture, bookshelves, uh, desks, and then going to a garage sale and just getting rid of this stuff, but getting money for it too. So it's gonna be a really cool video of just seeing the progression of things just going and leaving. And it's just nice to know, hey, as we move towards June, that's gonna be one less thing that we gotta worry about, carry, move. So it's just a really cool thing. So check this video out. guys well we packed up a bunch of that stuff bookshelves uh, desks tables nightstands and stuffed animals and we are gonna head to my in-laws and they're gonna have a garage sale this weekend so hopefully we can get sell it because you know I'm always afraid when you uh, have a garage sale. I'm always afraid of a leftover. Like, what do we do with it? So that's when you get desperate and you you say 50 cents. You say, I'll pay you to get, you know, take it off my hands. Just kidding. Um, usually I think what we do is we just pack up everything and take it to the thrift store a few cities away from us. So I think that's what we'll do. Okay guys, we took all that stuff to my in-laws and we probably made close to $200 on a Wednesday. Talk about crazy. So getting rid of stuff and getting some money in the, in the process is looking pretty good. Okay guys, so thank you so much for coming along with just this section of the journey. Again, it's so nice to see all of this stuff gone. It's just in your mind, it's so, I don't know, liberating just to know that's something I'm not gonna have to carry down the stairs. That's not something I'm gonna risk injury carrying it and moving it and it's, uh, I don't know. And to have the extra money in the pocket, it's really good feeling. So do we have more to do? Yes, because now we have to concentrate on the things that we are going to keep and take you know, just making sure we're finding enough room for it. Is that something we really need to have? So it's just been a trip. Uh, hey, we haven't even taken the trip yet, but just a trip of looking at our stuff and now finally getting rid of it. So thank you guys so much for taking a, you know, some time to watch today's video and 
we got more to come. We got, you know, I still got my job to be looking for, of where we're going to stay. And so there's still some big ticket items out there that we got to figure out. But hey, it's all in the Lord's timing, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.